All right, guys, welcome to the next video. You are here to see Imperial. This is by Jasada, and this is a part of their luxury line of fragrances. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and sit back and we go ahead and get into it. What we'll be doing, I've this is part two of a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. This is a first impressions. Uh, I was sent these fragrances by a subscriber and I definitely appreciate them for sending these to me because I was definitely curious what Jasada had to offer in their luxury line of fragrances before I did the royal fragrance and it kind of gave me a vibe of a floral powdery slightly leathery uh, fragrance just kind of coming together to become like a fresh slightly sweet and a floral type of fragrance uh, now from but I understand in the past, a lot of like in the 1700s, 1800s, women and men definitely uh, wore fragrances um, that were the same. They would take the fragrances, had it in like uh, some water and they would splash it on their face as like a refresher. Um, and that was like their way to uh, enjoy fragrances. So women and men wore the same thing. It was a way to refresh uh, their smell. So what I'll be doing today, we're going to be going over Imperial. So let's go ahead and read the fragrance card here. So Imperial is a perfume that exudes authority. So this is going to be a bold one, guys. It's bold and fearless, but delicate and soft at the same time. The scent of the balsam fir, cis rose, and cypress opens this up in the top note. I am here in charge, st states the perfume. The heart notes brings passion and warmth to the fragrance nut grass from the india frankincense amber and nutmeg add flavor and elegance the coronation happens in the base notes with patchouli moss and vetiver which makes the orientals out of it now this sounds like my type of fragrance i like a bold fragrance and i like a fragrance that sounds like he's going to be doing something different and uh i've come to like the note of frankincense and myrrh and some of those like resinous type of fragrances or resinous type of notes so I'm, I'm interested i appreciate that they put nutmeg in here also and i'm really curious what nutgrass is all right so let's go ahead and get into it let's see what we got so this is imperial go ahead and show you that this is imperial by jasada Oh, that's different. A little bit more woody, definitely more woody than the other one. It has a little bit of spicy vibe to it. Ooh, a little bit of leather. <laughs> kind of feel like there's some type of floral note, but it's nothing strong. Shoot, I'm surprised. So, was there sandalwood or like some type of what type of wood is in here? So there's patchouli moss and vetiver you can pick up a, the pop the moss and the patchouli for sure that nut grass is what i must be smelling what is nut grass let's find out nut grass is actually a i believe another name for a weed um i actually have seen that in my yard and i pulled it out and it's very annoying that it shows up and they put that in this fragrance. And another name, what I knew nutgrass to be was called nut sage. Uh, but yeah, that that we when it shows up, it's actually hard to pull out too. When I mean, you got to get it by the roots, you actually kind of got to get deep into the soil to get that out. Anyway, this fragrance is starting to kind of give me vibes of like a oud wood type of fragrance. It's very woody. Uh, some of the cypress and the um, kind of the fur, I believe it is, kind of gives me like a, it has a green vibe to it. it I also, I believe the vetiver is also helping with that and the moss. This has like a green, like a mix with like oud wood and uh, Creed's green iris tweed. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting. For some reason, that, that's what I'm kind of, uh, it's like a blend. This is a nice fragrance. I actually like this one. 
but yeah it has a uh, an element that's missing out of those fragrances but it's it's nice this is nice so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit back and go through some of my day and see how this fragrance develops and I'll pop back on camera again. All right, so I'm back. So what I wanna go ahead and say before I talk about the rest of what I got from this fragrance, the dry down, I wanna say both Royal and Imperial are very natural smelling fragrance. Nothing about these two fragrances smell synthetic. So that 350 price tag, some, a lot, probably a lot of it's gone to the quality of the juice that they're actually putting in these things. Because the bottle, I mean, the presentation, the packaging is different, is better than what you get with the normal um, Jasada packaging. But the bottle itself is basically the same. Now, guys, when you get this fragrance here and you spray it on, Imperial has a very nice smell. It has like, like I mentioned earlier, it has like a blend of some very nice green notes and it has a blend of some woody notes and a slight hint of uh, sweetness. It's not nothing super sweet. It's just like a slight hint. Uh, this kind of blends together to almost kind of give me like a vibe of green iris tweed i said oud wood before but this is more uh oud for greatness uh so those two fragrances you blend these two together i feel like you're getting something very similar now they don't mention anything about oud in the dry down but some of the notes in here just kind of give a nice woody dark woody feel now it's not a dark fragrance it has like a, almost like a slight freshness to it but it's not a fresh fragrance either it's just somewhere in between Oh, guys, I, I really do like this one. Imperial so far is a uh, winner to me. Uh, $350, though, I don't know if I'm willing to pay that to get that. But this fragrance is really, really nice. This one, again, it's not really projecting. And I believe it's probably due to some of the natural ingredients. If they threw some more synthetics in here, it would probably allow it to project a little bit more. But what I'm noticing, it does scent fairly close it's a little bit better as far as projection versus uh royal but as far as imperial goes it sits you know a little bit closer to the skin than i would like but i do, i can get a enjoyable vibe from it but i just know it doesn't project uh, a ton uh as far as like is this masculine or is this feminine i believe it's definitely unisex um but this one kind of leaves a little bit more masculine to me um so if you're a man if you enjoy bold type of scent something that's uh unique i believe this is for you so that, that greenness that i mentioned earlier and that woodiness it starts to eventually pull back on some of the the greenness um you kind of get a little bit more of the so the balsam and the fur kind of pulls back on some of that and you kind of pick up a little bit more on that moss a little bit more in that vetiver and some of the woody notes and some uh, something slightly sweet in that fragrance in this fragrance and i believe it is the amber and the nutmeg um it just kind of gives it a nice rounded out feel uh but yeah i mean i believe anybody as far as age gender i mean that anybody could rock this thing um maybe if you're really young you know 18 and under you might find this to be a little bit too bold for you but i do think 18 and up anybody can just kind of like vibe with this this fragrance so imperial for me is a winner all right guys so what we'll be doing next i will be doing actually let's jump into another floral fragrance let's go into iris all right so iris is what we'll be doing next and uh if you want to go ahead and watch it click on the next video